guys I'm back with a new video so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a scoreboard which uh, displays the uh, cures and the deaths um and next thing is uh it's raining outside so if you can hear it I'm really sorry anyways let's begin so first we need to go to style view and create a scoreboard GUI so I'll just I'll just name it scoreboard and put a frame inside it so um, I want the frame to be right in the middle like this so what I'm gonna do is change the anchor point to 0.5 comma 0.5 position to 0 0.50 0 0.50 so it will be right in the middle and the size I'm gonna scale it to 0.5 and 0.5 perfect so now in this uh, this is gonna be like the main so inside of this I'm just gonna add another frame so this frame is basically gonna be the holder so this like it should be right in the middle uh, let me just show it here so just do the same thing I mean okay right in the middle and I'll just give it a 0.5 I mean 0.8 0 0.8 so once you do that make sure it's uh, transparent okay so I'm gonna rename this frame to holder and inside of this I am going to put another frame so before doing that um, we will put something called UI list layout so what this will do is if we put a frame inside it will list it like this as you can see it will just keep on listing and you duplicate it so that's what we want and then name that frame template this gonna pretty much be the okay so that's pretty much gonna be the thing where it shows the player's name and the kills and the and the deaths so inside the template let's uh, put a uh, text label this is going to be the player's name so the size can be one zero oh no uh point six uh zero one zero okay let's make it a bit longer point eight so now this is going to be the name now we want to display the kills so i'm just going to name this label and now I'm gonna just duplicate it and name this kills and uh, I'm gonna change the position to 1 and the size to 0 0.3 point two. so point 0.2 is basically the rest of this part so I'm actually gonna put it 1 and the anchor point here here over this part one so this will show the okay let's make it closer here so we can put the deaths here so to do that we can just put zero here and add the anchor point to zero here what order Point, point eight over here. Okay, so now the kills here, and now we want to get the deaths label. Deaths is just gonna be uh, the anchor point to one, and the position to one. As you can see, this is going to be the name. This is going to be the kills deaths. So, should I just do this. Okay. So now, if I duplicate this, as you can see, it shows like a scoreboard, and although uh, the spacing is a little bit off, so let's just fix that by going to the UI list layout and fixing this. Oops. that's too much 15 that's too much 10 
Okay, 10 is perfect. Let's just duplicate to see how it looks. So that's actually good. Whoops. Delete that. So we can actually change the colors. Like a light blue here. think the border should still be there and uh, yeah the kills and the deaths uh, text zero then we can see properly uh, kills let's just give it a dark blue and that's uh, red actually let's give it the same color <sighs> probably like a grayish color yep let's do like that the main uh, thing we should pretty much put black just make it make the transparent to 0 0.5 so now it looks like a good scoreboard Oops. and now um, before doing anything else we should actually make the stats for the player to show the kills and the deaths so here once the game I'm gonna make a script in so script service and say game game the player start player added control of function and this gonna test so let's say player player stats equals to instance start new let's create a folder inside player rename this Let's uh, create something called kills. It's gonna be an integer value. Then let's create something called yeah. I'll hold up. I'll just give it a and let's give it something called deaths. Deaths start value. Um, actually, I'm going to uh, do a quick death script. It's pretty much easy. We just need the uh, character. And uh, we need the humanoid. Actually, we just should say this character added connect. We should say this and just say when I type connect to a function. And here we're just gonna add the death value. So, what this will do is whenever the player dies, it will add one value to the player. So, we can pretty much test it. Too. So I'm going to go to the player stats, deaths, let's just kill all of Okay, I think we got an error. Yep, we got an error. Oops. I, uh, I should put player here, not uh, char, not uh, character. I think it won't update till we die again. Hold up. Actually, I'm just gonna remove this for now because I don't think that's necessary in this. Okay, now we'll see if. Deaths update when we die. 
yep it updates that's enough um, now we just gotta do it so when we hold tab it will it will open up scoreboard and uh, generate every name and show everything so to do this we are going to get the scoreboard then we are gonna get the name which is inside scoreboard then we are going to get the holder which is inside main then we are going to get the template which is inside holder then we are going to create a function called generate and keep it for now and the next thing we need is the user input service Uh, pretty much one thing we need for now so once we do that we just say use input service dot input again input okay so if input dot key code we just do nm dot input oh i mean nm dot key code equals to tab as you can see tab uh, then enable the GUI now we are gonna just copy the same thing here and instead of this we put input Indeed. what this will do is when we press hold press tab then it will open up the scoreboard and when we stop pressing it it will close it so this should pretty much do that As you can see it works when I'm holding tab it works and I leave it it goes off so that's pretty much good the generate is where we're going to generate the names so what we're going to do is we are going to go through every player so to do it we are going to say for I can pass the name the players the players so what this will do is it will look through every place in the game and what we're going to say is we're going to get the player stats because inside the inside each player there's a folder called player stats with all the kills and deaths so player stats equals to player wait i mean fine yes. child player stats make sure everything is case sensitive um then get the kills player stats kills and local deaths you just do player stats dot deaths once you get that we are going to create a clone of the template before you do anything like this make sure you change the template's parent to script so it won't show up in the in this scoreboard uh, holder instead it will be under the script so no one will see the template they only want to see the name and shit like that so uh see so since you made the template now we just need to update everything inside the template for example c player name dot text equals to player dot name and c dot kills dot text equals to Kills dot running c dot deaths dot text equals to deaths dot running. So basically, the player name will be the player dot name. Then the kills will be the kills valid. Deaths will be the deaths valid. So that's pretty much it. Over there. So this now we just need to set the parent to holder. Now this will pretty much um, show show the player skills and the deaths and stuff like that. Although I oh no yeah hold up. Make sure you uh, call this function whenever you press on this. So 
so now as you can see it shows my name and my kills but if I leave it and press again I think it will show it twice because we didn't delete the past ones like so if I leave it and again do it will show three times because um, whenever we are again showing we should clear the other templates we created before so I'm going to create a new function called clear we're just, we're just going to loop through the holder which is the parent we're going to get the children do so if we we is a um if we is a you call it a frame then we destroy it so now if i just call this function whenever it's loading it should pretty much work this is pretty much it so now if i hold tab then it shows my uh, kills and deaths as you can see and i'm just going to reset just to show it to you now it shows uh, one death and zero kills so now we just need kills so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the uh, side and give our players give our players some kills okay let's say five kills as you can see it shows five kills one death so if there are multiple uh, people in the server then it will list every each one of them so that's how you do that now yeah you can implement it into your game and change some of the parts to make it look cool and yeah that's it so i'll leave a um i'll leave a source code uh, file source code uh, file in the description i will I think I'll just uh, leave the code in the description so you can just copy it. Uh, I'll just name this server and this uh, client. So yeah, I'll just leave this in. I'll actually uh, leave this project file for y'all. So yeah.